Good evening, Frontline family. I welcome you to our prayer time tonight. I hope that you are all fine, that you've had a good day. My name is Angelica and I'm really looking forward to spending this time with you tonight. So, just waiting for people to join. Oh, there's the first person to join. Lovely to see everyone. Let me say hello again. Good evening. It's really good to see you. It's our prayer time. Hi, Matt. Good to see you. Yes, we spend time in God's presence tonight. Um, we will have a prayer time. And we will have communion, we will share that together, so if you haven't got that ready, please uh, get some bread and juice and uh, we will share communion a bit later. We will also have a time of worship, so it's great to see everyone. Okay, let's make a start. As people join us, uh, you know this, please feel free to post comments to say hi to each other give virtual hugs um, and to make each other welcome and please post your prayers and any words that you have. I'm starting with a scripture from Hebrews 13 verse 5 and 6 where it says, I will never under any circumstances desert you nor give you up, nor leave you without support, nor will I in any degree leave you helpless, nor will I forsake or let you down or relax my hold on you. So we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? That was Hebrews 13 verse five and six. I think we all need a bit of encouragement in these times and this scripture is great. So let's start and pray and just thank God that he is faithful to us. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time. I thank you that we can join together um, via Facebook um, and just join in prayer and just remind ourselves of your goodness, of your faithfulness, Thank you that you will never ever leave us without support, that you are right there wherever we are, that you will never let us down or fail us in any way. Thank you. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you bring comfort right now to those who need it. Bring comfort to those who feel discouraged, who feel lonely, um, who are just having a bad day. I really pray that you bring encouragement and comfort, Holy Spirit, to everyone who watches tonight and also want to welcome those who will watch a bit later. Um, so I'm also praying for you that you will feel and experience God's comfort. Lovely. Um, so we're going to start with a bit of worship and then um, with prayer in between and have a communion at the end so please bear that in mind if you haven't got the bread and juice yet okay so the first song I wanted to sing is the goodness of God just that we remind ourselves of his goodness he is amazing and um, all our lives he has been faithful so please join me I can't hear you but you know make some noise for Jesus and join me now in worship and let's praise God and remind ourselves that he is faithful. I 
darkest night You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived in the goodness of God All my life All my life you have been
mentions in the beginning we will have a time where we share communion now I would like to read a scripture from Luke 22 verse 15 to 20 Jesus said I have been eager to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins for I tell you that I won't eat this meal again until its meaning is fulfilled in the kingdom of God then he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it then he said, Take this and share it among yourselves, for I will not drink wine again until the kingdom of God has come. He took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took another cup of wine and said, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood, which is poured out as a sacrifice for you. I was really struck that Jesus said, I've been eager to eat this Passover meal with you. I've been longing um, to have this meal with you. And I believe that Jesus is saying the same tonight to all of us who are here right now. He's been longing for this moment that we remember his death and his resurrection, that we share communion. So um, I just pray for the bread. Thank you, Jesus, that you gave yourself for us. Thank you that your body has been broken to bring healing to us, to bring wholeness to us, to give us hope. We thank you, Jesus, for your suffering. And we thank you that you have been pierced for our transgressions, for our sins, and that in your stripes, we are healed and made whole. So as we eat this bread, we remember what you've done for us, Jesus. And we thank you. Let's share the bread now. And then we... Thank Jesus for his blood. Jesus, I thank you that you poured out your blood for us, Jesus. You have given everything. You didn't hold anything back. And we thank you 
that your blood still has power today to save, to set us free. Lord, thank you that you brought forgiveness, that you brought us close again to the Father, that the curtain has been torn in two pieces and that we can come into the Holy of Holies. We thank you for that. And thank you, Jesus, that through your blood we have received forgiveness for all our sins, past, present, future. We thank you that your cross has spoken and your blood still speaks and says that we are forgiven. So we remember this and we thank you as we drink now this juice or wine that your blood has been poured out for us and that it sealed the new covenant. We thank you so much for the new covenant where it's all about you, what you have done for us. It's not about us, it's about you and that you have done everything um, for us, that you said it is finished and you've done a perfect work. We thank you for that. Amen. Yes, so we've come to the end of our time now. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and each other. Um, I pray that you have a blessed evening and a really peaceful night. And um, yeah, let's just bless each other before we, before we finish. And um, Father, I really pray for everyone who's watching now or also later. Really thank you for every household represented here. And we th I thank you that you bless everyone, Lord. You know what we all need, Lord. It might be different needs that we have, but thank you um, that you bring comfort, Holy Spirit, that you bring joy, strength, perseverance in these times, whatever we need, provision, healing. We thank you that you are with us, that you are for us. And so I bless you in Jesus' name. Bye.